Hey myself Stalin, today we are going to talk about a new algorithm called backtracking, pathfinding. So we have a grid, 4 comma 4 grid and we we have to find the path from top left corner to bottom right corner. So how do I find it programmatically of course. So first we need to represent this grid into an array. So I can use two dimension array to represent this particular grid. So wherever there is a black box, I can mark it as 0 in the array, wherever there is a blue box, I can mark it as 1. So here, uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, something like that. And I need to, whenever I move, I need to keep track the solution, like the, the path, the path which I have taken to reach the destination. So I have an another array, 4 cross 4 uh, array. Uh, two dimension array to store the solution. So now I'm going to write the code to compute the path. So let's have some room to write the code. So I'm going to write a function called find path. It's going to take three arguments i and j are indexes, n is the square matrix size of the matrix. Right? The first question. If I reach the destination, I just return true. If i equal to n minus 1 and j equal to n minus 1, that means I reach the destination. So I'm returning true. There's a path. Suppose I haven't reached the destination, I am I am kind of here. Or I am nowhere, I'm just getting into that. Before getting into that, I need to check hey. The place where I'm getting in is blue or black. Okay, only if it is blue, then I can get in. How do I check that? So this array A is the one which we are using for representing the grid. So I just need to check the array A. A of i j equal to one. That means like I can get into this particular cell. Whenever it says one, that means it's a blue box. I can go in. The next question, for example, I am now here, I wanted to move here, I can go right or bottom, only two ways, okay. So if I want to move right, what, what should I do? I just need to increase j. If I increase j by 1, then I move here. So let's do that actually. Find path i comma j plus 1 and this actually moves here and when I move here, I should check whether it's a black or blue, right? This function is going to return me, hey, can you move in or not? Okay, if it returns, hey, you can move in, that means it's a blue box. If it returns one, then I can move in. Then return true. I have a way to go, okay? Suppose I'm here, I just, uh, thought of moving towards right but it's black box it returns false what should I do then I need to look for the other path actually the other path is like going downwards so find path going downward is like increasing i keeping j as it is if this returns one that means I have a path towards down then I return true if this both cases fails, that means like in this condition both will fail. I cannot move right, I cannot go down, then I have to backtrack. So that's actually backtracking. So whenever we found a way, I mean the position is blue, then I need to keep track that position as part of path solution. That's one. When, when I'm here, I just keep track that position as path but I cannot move towards right or down uh, that means like I need to backtrack so I need to unwind this I need to unmark this uh, from my solution array how do I unmark I just unmark setting that particular i and j cell into 0 marking it as 0 I just done backtracking so if I do not find a path then I just need to return 0 because I did not find it so this is actually the backtracking algorithm, very simple. 
let's write the driver program and whenever we reach the destination we need to keep track the path because otherwise when we print we will miss the last destination cell in the output console so let's write the main driver program so call this find path with zero index zero comma zero that is top left corner and the size of the matrix this method will fill the path array and we just need to print the path array just remove this wait for int j equal to 0 j less than n and 4 j plus plus then if path if the path array as 1 keep it like that then print that's actually the result percentage d percentage d path inj sorry let's print that so we do not have an n so sorry i just said n so instead i say 4 yeah let's print and see yes this is the result let's see this is 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 is this 2 comma 0 is this 2 comma 1 is this 2 comma 2 is this 3 comma 2 is this 3 comma 3 is this so this is the path thanks for watching